Papa John Stadium for Dave Ragone, fine quarterback Bobby Bowden, Poncho, fourth ranked Knowles. First quarter tied to three. You must be sound in the kicking game. James Green storming through to block it in the villain business deep in Seminole land. Now, first and goal, Louisville going to try to stick it right up the gut with Henry Miller. Henry Miller getting some time, but he's denied on the goal line. Second and goal, maybe if Ragone makes a run for the pylon, he gets there. Cut back. No, thank you. Third and goal. Miller, bring your feet. Come with bad intentions. Miller stuffed again. Now, Louisville talked it over, decided to go for it on fourth down. They're going to try it by air with their fine left-handed quarterback, Ragone. Not much room to operate. Oh, poor pass, Jarrell Hudson rising up, and the Seminoles deny the Cardinals at the goal line. Second quarter still tied at three. Florida State second at 11. And this is a driving rain. Seminoles still executing the passing game. Rick the Talman Gardner, FSU up 10-3. Louisville plagued by mistakes in the first half. Here's Corso. I think uh, Louisville made a couple of major mistakes when they got inside the red zone. Number one, I didn't think they went after them with the right play selection, especially on fourth down when they, right, Dave Ragone dropped back with only one option to throw the ball. I think they should have rolled out. Kirk and I both agree a bootleg there. And then when they get down first and goal on the two, they have an unnecessary delay of game five yard penalty, and that ruined them. So it's Louisville that shot themselves in the foot inside the red zone, not Florida State stopping them. We got to quit making mistakes. I mean, we, we played as good as we can play the first half. We should have some more points on the board. We've got to do a better job. So the current Louisville coach agreeing with the former one, third quarter, 13-6 game. Here is Ragone. Beautifully thrown ball to Joshua Tench, and the Cardinals have tied it at 13. For a minute to go in the third, still tied. Chris Ricks had an answer, and again, the answer's name was Talman Gardner. Second touchdown of the game, and the Seminole surge back on top by seven. Fourth quarter, first and goal for Louisville. Ragone, not huge numbers. Look how hard the rain is coming down. 15 of 27, that one to Damian Dorsey. We are tied at 20. It's about that point that people began gathering gopher wood and two of every kind of poncho fan to build an arc, and we went into overtime. New territory for Florida State, and perhaps offensive coordinator Jeff Bowden or Ricks or both got greedy. Ball slipped out of his hand, picked by Anthony Floyd, so now Louisville has a chance and a chance to win. Mitt Julep and play in the puddles, fellas. You have earned it. Louisville beating Florida State 26 to 20 and overtime. The goalpost would come crashing down at Papa John. Mike Tarico called a classic. Mike.